Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, uh, doing the Blood and Wine DLC. And I picked up a couple of armors that we'll try on as soon as I hit level 40, which is 400 XP away. Uh, actually, I have this available, I guess. I can wear most of the Ducal Guard Captains. Uh, but we also picked up the Knight's Tourney armor. Uh, so we'll see how both those look. And we'll, uh, we'll go from there. I'll probably put this armor on display at the house, because I kind of, I, I like the look of it, but I think it's time we got a new armor. Um, I also picked up a new weapon. I'm not going to use it, but, well, I guess we could. It's better than the Witcher Steel. How does this thing fight? Hold up. Okay, we can use this thing. It doesn't use much different than one of a sword, like a sword, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and use the new weapon I get. And then my newest weapon that I acquired is usable at level 41, which is only two levels away, so we'll be able to whip that thing out here soon. But let's talk to Regis. Uh, we're all ready to go. Regis. I went and sold some stuff. Ah, there you are. Might we set off for Tesha Mudna now? I was willing to spend a bunch of money on the armors because I can get money whenever I need it. I have a bunch of crafting supplies I could sell. I just have never sold them. Also have all those swords sitting in that chest. If I wanted to really go through, I could take out some that I don't need to keep and sell those. See no reason to dawdle. Tesham would not take me there. In a moment. Just one last thing. Well, what is it? What was that? Uh, blood. Oh, the last favor the raven did me. I've also taken some Sangurium, a solution that sharpens one's sense of smell. One drop of blood shall smell like a gallant to me now. You crazy? You're a recovering addict. <sighs> Your outrage warms my heart, Geralt. But you must remain calm. I have no choice. As things stand, the die is cast. <sighs> High time we set off for Tesh and Mutna. My head's... Spinning already, and you're... you're starting to smell quite tasty. And you're starting to scare me. Alright, here we go. Tashamuta. We have arrived. The sacrificial chamber of torture and torment lies underground. Sure you know what you're doing? I can only hope I do. Please, let's go. The longer we delay, the less control I shall have of my faculties. I'd really prefer not to hurt you. You lead. Scurvers must be getting close to their feeding ground. Correct. I told you there'd be danger. <sighs> Beyond this wall lies... An ancient vampire dungeon. Seen a lot of things in my time. Nothing quite like this, though. My, I feel honored. A man with such a wealth of experience, yet I'm about to show him something new. Now, to open it. How the hell? It's an ancient form of protection against unwanted guests. The mechanism which releases the latch reacts only to a higher vampire's blood. Tricky mechanisms, a vampire hideout, fortified, secured. Must have been important to your species once, Toussaint. It shall always be so. During the conjunction, the gate from our world into this one opened upon this land and no other. This was the first place we saw. Oh, 
Oh yes, human husbandry and care. I don't think we need to read that, but I will hold this up here. Yeah, I guess we'll, why not? Oh, this is a kind of important. Uh, the most important aspect of raising human livestock is to provide the herd with conditions that, on the one hand, guarantee their survival, but on the other hand, do not extend too far beyond the minimum minimum needed for that survival. It should be borne in mind that people are creatures bestowed with great intelligence, or rather, cunning and cunning and instincts that allow them to gain as much as possible from their environment. In terms of husbandry, uh, this means humans will always try to obtain more than we give them. It is recommended, therefore, to provide each individual with a place to sleep, a meal twice a day, and permanent access to water. These conditions, which might seem overly luxurious to some, ensure the optimal production of high-quality hemoglobin, more details on diet in later chapters, also essential is access to air, without w without which humans die within minutes. Yeah, thank you. There is no need to be concerned about the ability for human livestock to multiply in the conditions described above. If they are ensured a minimal existence and male and females are mixed, they will copulate and irrespective of whether they are in captivity or not. It is worth mentioning here that there is a school of thought that suggests treating human livestock with greater freedom and care, including providing them with better quality fodder and a certain degree of freedom. This allegedly ensures a greater amount of favorable elements in the blood and makes it tastier. However, it is worth mentioning that this method of husbandry is much more difficult and requires emotional bonding techniques, which will be discussed in the following chapters. It's kind of interesting. But I... Champions of Teshamna. I am he who serves the tribe. Exalted above men, I renounce human weakness. Uplifted above men, I become keeper of my flock, fill, fill, er, filled with strength. I turn my sword against the enemies of the tribe. I am master and slave. I am executor of the will of the tribe. I accept this sword and this armor so I may serve the tribe. Alright, well we did pick this armor up, so we should probably take a look at it. Um, we also did acquire a sword, Teshamutna Steel Sword. So, goodbye to the Tucson Knights Warhammer. That didn't last long. Is this? Yeah. It's 33%, so we'll go ahead and do that. Alright, let's go ahead and check out this armor. Eh. Yeah, not, not horrible. Should probably put these boots on and try... These okay, so that doesn't look bad. We'll wear that for now. We'll wear this for now, and then we will, uh... This place. There's evil here. Death hangs in the air. Yes. Great many beings have breathed their last here. We will test out our other armors once we hit high enough level. I just need one more level, technically. Cliffs are carved into the rock. Coated with blood used to be. They mean something? They're emblems. Symbols of, uh, well, what you would call tribes. Dispersed throughout the world after the conjunction. My ancestors placed them here to remind us all where we came from. Alright, battery cage versus free range Seems human. Seems your kind assembled a peculiar little library. Alright, here we go. In recent decades, many of us have come to believe that a much more effective way of obtaining good quality human blood than hunting individuals is their systematic controlled husbandry. Apart from the obvious advantage, such as being able to control what the flock eats and the ability to crossbreed specific individuals to obtain offspring with the best hemoglobin, other clear advantages to breeding human flocks is that domesticated humans held in confinement as, compo as opposed to those in their natural habitat, i.e. villages and towns, become less aggressive and therefore less troublesome. So my question is, what kind of, you know, they're in captivity here, like, do they have their own room or are we just having a orgy out in the middle of a cage? Like, is that what's happening here? We, I, I, like, <laughs> this could be seriously, like, fucked up or they're just a bunch of people in a cage and they're just doing it? Like... <laughs> The questions I have about this. When it comes to farming humans, there are various schools, of which two seem to have gained the widest acceptance in recent times, namely battery cage and free-range husbandry. 
This thesis describes in detail the advantages and disadvantages as well as the methods of carrying out each type of breeding. As an intro, oh, we're going to get into it. As an introduction, it is worth mentioning the basic differences between both types. All right. Oops. Oops. Battery cage human husbandry described very accurately and in detail in the book Human Husbandry is the placing of several male and female individuals in a closed restricted space with permanent access to air, food, and water. This form of breeding differs from free range in that the flock is not permitted to leave the breeding area and is held captive the entirety of the So they literally are just put into a room and literally all they do is have sex. Like that's the only thing they're allowed to do. Uh, free range on the other hand involves leaving the flock in its natural habitat or creating a habitat that simulates it closely, creating villages. Okay, so this this is more this answers my question. So they either slam them in a room and you just have sex forever and reproduce and have babies for the vampires to eat or to drink their blood or you create a simulated environment. More on which can be found in the chapter, Human Villages Establishing and Growing a Herd. <laughs> this is kind of interesting. And then making the herd psychologically or physically dependent on its owner. The more effective method for making a human individual dependent is guaranteeing its safety and permanent access to high quality feed. It is worth adding that a human that trusts its owner does not feel fear and does not defend itself when having its blood drunk which limits the production of non non noradre, noradrenaline and cos, cortisol, cortisol okay which have a negative effect on the taste of blood furthermore it may happen that a domestic free range human may feel a certain pleasure when its owner drinks his blood most likely associated with sexual tension which causes an intensification in the blood's fl flavor all right so we got another piece of this armor Let's go ahead and throw it on. We got the boots. We got the mask, but I don't really want the mask on. This is actually not a bad looking armor. I need the glove still though. Indeed, though I personally did not lay a hand to it. Sells, uh, who for? Ah, uh, disgraceful. Excruciatingly so, this particular page from my history. I'd rather not summon the demons of the past if it's Alright. Notes of Teshamutna Prisoner. I found a piece of parchment that fell from the pocket of one of the monsters. I also have a lump of coal. I would write this in my own blood, but I have hardly any left. I am cold. Every third day they come and open my veins, after which I cannot move. I can't go on much longer. From the next cage I hear the howls of terrified people. If I had the strength, I would smash my head against the bars. I hope it won't go on much longer. Alos from the cage next to me died. Oh, that's a name. Uh, okay. Alos from the cage next to me died yesterday. The drink they drank him de to death. I don't know why you forgot the why. This must have irritated them because I heard them arguing in their strange language. They brought new people this morning. You could say that a supply of fresh blood arrived. They have no idea what they are in for. My only comfort is that I know already, and I won't have to live through the terror that I felt the first time they came for me. I had no idea what they wanted until they pulled out their shiny instruments. I have never seen such beautiful metal. My blood glistened a purple silvery color in those instruments. Transcript of a conversation with a lower being. Okay, transcript of a conversation between Master as ye heal Hildegard and a human being. Who are you? My name is Alex Biscont. I'm spending like half this episode reading. Why is all your skin trembling? I'm scared, sir. You're scared. I don't understand. You don't know what fear is, sir? No, I have mastered your language, yet some concepts are beyond me. What is fear? It's a feeling that destroys every other feeling. It controls your head and your heart. What do you mean? I thought it was a kind of pain. I have carried out tests in my laboratory on people, and I discovered that a mother subject to appropriate stimuli is able to forget about her child and think only about how to avoid pain. So fear would be similar to pain. No, pain rules the body, but fear is born in the heart. Oh yes, what you say is very interesting. I think I'll have to examine your heart in the laboratory. What do you mean, examine? I mean examine, take it out and subject it to a proper examination. But sir, that would kill me. Yes, your mortality is a great inconvenience. 
but what but was not me who created your species and I am not responsible for its excessive frailty. The conversation was carried out in human language and such it was written down. The transcription does not need translating. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I'm not sure that was necessary. Ah, there's the gauntlets. All right, we can complete we completed our outfit. There we go. Okay, this isn't a bad looking armor set. It's winning so far. And it's gotten creepy. Charming place. But what are all those cages for? Mentioned one vampire being kept here. Yes, well, you see, humanitarians is something my ancestors were not. They concluded Kagmar would best be punished if he were tormented with the scent of blood he could not taste. Thus, they also kept humans here. Humans whose blood they slowly let. Kagmar ranted and raged in pain as those... those humans slowly bled to death. They treated them like livestock. Live bait. I'd like to be able to turn back time. Deny it, but alas, I can do neither. Feel shame for my brethren. That is all I can do. Don't take it so hard. Nothing you could have done about it. Let's get to work. Well, that was awkward. Fine. I prepared the bait. Please be so kind and place it. Ideally at the tunnel entrances. The Zen will spread most effectively then. All right, Place so. the bait at the tunnel entrances. Monsters will catch its scent more quickly. When I think how these tunnels got here, scent shivers. It was the natural order of things. The place reeked of death and it attracted necrophages. The hell is he doing? I can't place anything here. Game? Um... All right, we'll come back to that one last. Blood moss. We go again with one of these weird-ass contraptions. How do I place anything on this? Ah, there we go. Three done, one left. Think this'll work? I certainly hope so. I mean, stench is so thick, I wager it carries clear to Novigrad. Ah, oh, what the hell? There we go. Alright, one back on. Because I'm gonna have to do some fighting. All right, so we don't need to drink our thing anymore. I think we, let me go ahead and meditate, get my one swallow back. And I think it's time to rock and roll. Bait set, what now? I shall enter the cage. You must chain me inside. The bars are made of an alloy that will prevent me from transforming into mist. I kinda thought you wouldn't want to. I shall be in great pain. My sole thought being to stop that pain. I cannot know what I will do. Uh, we must hurry. The beasts have caught the scent also my head. I started spinning. That the blood? Uh, someone who's never experienced a vampire's bloodlust does not know the true meaning of thirst. Maybe we need a safe word. You know, something you'll say when you can't take it anymore. 
And what would you do once I uttered it? Don't know. Uh, calm you down. Somehow. Please, girl. You won't be. Mm -hmm. just have smelled the blood. <laughs> Come on. Take it away, damn it. Oh my god. Hanging in there. It grows me. Worse. Oh, complete shit. I shall overcome. Good. Because I can hear more coming. Oh, this is a cluster F of enemies. Oh my god. This stupid. How long are you gonna make me wait? Oh, get that. Get that triple kill or whatever over there. God, this is kind of out of hand. These stupid Akamaras. Are the annoying I'll let you shit. out. I'm just letting them out. He scared them away. I'm not sure this is a great idea. Need to hang on a little longer. Blood'll dry in a few hours. Scent won't bother you anymore. Alright, so we're gonna sit here and meditate this time. Get you out of here. He is not looking good shape. Don't tell me you he's gonna die. It in this state. Tell me how. I'll help you. Even with all that reading, this actually wasn't that long of a little area here. Never mind, we're still in this area. No, never mind, we're back at the Any center. better. Far from ideal, and some time must pass before I fully recover. But yes, a bit better, thank you. Never expected it to be like that. You didn't tell me. We need not discuss it. But we do. Because if I'd known you were going to subject yourself to torture... What would you have done? Found Deadlaugh some other way. I did not wish you to use any other way. Did that occur to you? No. Because I thought no being would ever willingly subject itself to that kind of pain. You vampires aren't any different from us in that regard. I told you, the pain is my way of paying my debt. The enormous debt I owe Detlaf. If I had to do it again, I would in a heartbeat. Resonance, it's ready. Are you certain you followed the formula? The proportions were exact, the brewing time precise. This is important, Geralt. The slightest deviation could cost even a witcher dearly. Relax. Got some experience brewing potions. Very well. In that case, let's begin.
Excuse me. I shall only take a moment. You jumped the queue, sir. But Count, sir, you must understand. I've a meeting. The Count... Sir, you were next. Please, take a seat. This gentleman was here first. Step down or you shall regret it. Ah, <laughs> fails to realize he was your friend, Count. It was then I ordered him to give up his seat and step off the stand. If only you'd seen his face. We got him good, didn't we, Detlove? And then Mother insisted we buy the mill. <laughs> Curious, eh? I kind of want, to, I want Deadloft's armor. That armor looks kind of badass. But at least I've a yarn to spin for friends and associates. Forgive me. What? Awake at last, you ride like a squirrel caught in a snare. I'd begun to fear they were death throes, that you'd departed. <clears throat> uh, uh, sure wasn't pleasant, but it worked. What did you see? Delacroix. His death did not come easy. Seems dead laugh had made friends with him, still killed him, and chopped up his corpse. And he was overcome with fury, remorse, cut off the hand that had committed the murder. Hmm, interesting. And entirely unlike the Detlef I know. See anything else? Saw a moment. Delacroix did something selfless, was kind to Detlef. Guess it could have been the start of their friendship. Why the uncertainty? Nothing extraordinary about it. Normal, everyday situation, really. Visions were supposed to issue from strong emotions. Clearly, the situation provoked such emotions in Detlef. Keep in mind, he did later murder Delacroix. Killing someone who's grown dear to us, it's bound to elicit strong emotion. Vampires are no different in that regard. Did you see anything else? There was something. Showed up twice in the vision. A bootblack stand. Detlaf first met Delacroix there. Went back after the murder, actually. Peculiar. Stand was somewhere in the port district. And the bootblack acted as if he knew Detlaf. Hmm. That would be even odder. Perhaps we should have a chat with the lad. Though I would expect no breakthroughs. It's our only lead. I'll go talk to him. Coming with. I shall join you later if it's no trouble. I don't yet feel strong enough to venture out. That's fair. Rest up. Be back as soon as I learn anything. Find the boot black who appeared in the vision. Uh, there is a level 40. So, 
we will head on out of here. Uh, and... No, wrong way. Okay, so now where... Okay, so Regis had an update. Where children toil, toys waste away. I want to get out of here. Oh, here we go. Go outside. We'll read the new add-on to Regis. The one issue with this is reading the add-ons is I don't really remember where the last thing was that I read. But let's go ahead and try on our new armor. We've got all sorts of cool armors here. Um, let's start out with the tourney armor. Uh, no, that's the wrong thing. There's the tourney. Tourney, where's tourney boots? I already put, I put the tourney boots on, right? Uh, tourney trousers and tourney gloves. Where are those at? There we go, tourney gloves. Okay, I'd rather have the pure black armor at that point. Okay, so now it's time for the ducal guard captains. Stuff, right? Yeah. Guard captain's trousers. Guard captain's boots. And the guard captain's armor. Okay, it looks really similar. Actually, I really like this. We will go ahead and switch on and off with this in my black, the, that pure black armor, because I really like that too. But this, I, this looks clean. I really like this. This looks really nice as well. Um, let's read that, uh, let's travel back, we'll put, uh, we'll put that armor that we wore through most of the game on display, guess I'll show how that works, um, and then we'll read that thing on Regis, and then we'll call it an episode. So there are the ruins, we can head back to that area in the future, uh, and do a little ex more exploring there, maybe I'll do that. Uh, where's my house? Corvo Blanco, here it is. I'm kind of interested to see how this looks when it's displayed. Alright. Even a horse drops if you ride it at a constant gallop. Alright, so... How many armor stands do I have here? Let's use this one. Alright, so... Ducal Guard Officers, Ducal Guard Officer, Ducal Guard Officer. There we go, that's pretty cool. It's actually really cool with the armors on display. I guess we could put the other armor that I'm not using. She's still here. I guess we could talk. Can I talk to her? Tasty. Mm. Nah, she just mm. says thanks. So all right, so now you put this armor on display. Why not? There it is. It's a nice looking armor. Probably won't stay permanently on display, but it's not a bad looking armor. Let's see here. Is there anything up here? There's a painting spot. I need to figure out where to uh, get paintings, like get a bunch of paintings, because we have a ton. Oh, here's another armor stand. There are a ton of armor stands in here. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with those, but there's a ton of armor stands. The awesome kitchen. Okay, let's read this entry. Instead of me jacking around here. Alright. Like I said, I'll get that thing fully furnished and all of that before I'm done with this Let's Play. Uh, we need to go to glossary, characters. Girl could not have hoped for better help. Okay, that's just talking about him helping us. All right, Regis, where are you? Here we go. Okay. Okay, I think we already... Hold on. Um, oh, this is a lot. So, um... However, they could hear others approaching in Regis. Okay, we, we did read that. Okay, I think this is where we need to start. Okay. This is almost just a dialogue about what we found, or what happened. Yeah, if you look at this, this is just exactly kind of the story. Okay, we don't need to read that. That's just all... That's just what we've 
discovered with him, like, in the... I don't know how to explain it. That, that's the story of him and I so far through this quest. That's all that is. I thought those were actually, like, added things, different things, um, as you went on, but I guess it's not. Uh, but that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you all in the next one, uh, where we'll probably be doing a side quest again. But we'll see. But I'll catch you guys then. Peace out. My stomach growls like an angry wolf.